Meet the Lalo Shadow Amphibian. Lalo Tactical designed and built this super boot for and in conjunction with the U.S. Navy SEALs to meet their needs when in the field. Every feature in this boot was built with the end user in mind. A composite plate in the sole of the boot helps the operator become 20 to 25 percent more efficient when walking with a pack or wearing body armor. The composite plate adds rigidity when the operator goes to swim, meaning that the boot won't counterflex. This boot is also practice grenade resistant. Through testing and evaluation, the plate dissipated the blast from a practice grenade and the operator wearing them walked away unharmed. The material used on the sole of the boot is designed for a stealth approach. It's virtually silent when walking across a hard substrate. The Shadow Amphibian features a KPU grill system to allow the boot to be ventilated and for water to flow through it very effectively. The water drains completely through the boot down a series of channels in the sole and drains out the portals on the side and out the back of the boot. The boot is designed to fit perfectly into an Apollo fin, the standard issue fin for the U.S. Navy SEALs. A keyhole notch was added at the back of the boot, eliminating any pressure or chafing on the Achilles or heel area of the product. The lacing system on the Shadow is designed to tuck up under the pocket of the tongue. This keeps the laces out of harm's way. And as the laces are pulled through the eyelets, it's silent. So there is no noise made if the operator needs to tighten or loosen his boots when he is on an operation. The Lalo Shadow Amphibian. No made up technology, no fancy words, just a product that works for the end user. Five Eleven Tactical has teamed up with Kyle E. Lamb in Viking Tactics to bring you an ergonomic battle belt unlike any other. The Brokos belt features web platforms to attach your holster or pouches. The Brokos belt also allows the user to add a belt of their choosing to hold everything together. Just simply feed it through and you can strap the Brokos right on. It's made of 500 denier nylon with 3D spacer mesh for maximum breathability. The Brokos belt features an ergonomic shape which spreads the load and reduces nerve pressure at the hips. The Brokos belt can be added to the Triab 18 pack for carrying heavy loads. The Brokos belt is available in black or sandstone, the ultimate load-bearing belt from Viking Tactics and 511 Tactical. The 511 Rush 72 backpack is an end-user favorite worldwide and was engineered to be a full-featured 72-hour bag that provides ample space for gear and accessories while remaining rugged and reliable enough for extended excursions or tactical operations. The grab-and-go carry handle has been reinforced for rugged use. There's a fleece-lined pocket on the top of the pack for sunglasses or other sensitive gear. We've increased the padding in the strap as well as the width of the strap, allowing you to carry a heavier load for longer distances. The sternum straps are adjustable. The buckle hardware is located above the padded shoulder straps for greater comfort. The four zones of padding provide maximum ventilation. And the tacky rubber at the base helps keep your pack in place. Drain holes are located at the bottom of the strap to help keep your gear dry, as well as lashing straps for a tent or bed roll. The waist straps on the Rush 72 are covered in a web platform for ultimate customization and can be tucked away for a more discreet profile and they also function as a lumbar support. A hydration bladder can be stored in the front compartment. This compartment comes with a back plate and an aluminum removable rod for support. Your hydration valve can be fed through the top of the pack and exit on the left or right side of the grab handle depending on your preference. The Rush tier system allows you to integrate other Rush bags with your pack for ultimate customization. The Rush 72 has a zippered compartment on each side of the pack that can each hold a full liter bottle as well as internal divider pockets for added utility. The upper zippered compartment has an internal pocket as well as a zippered mesh pocket to easily access and view your smaller items. There's an external shove it pocket on the outside of your pack for quick and easy storage of a bag, jacket, or other gear. This bag is covered in web platform for ultimate customization, and we've also added a spot for an ID or morale patch. Rain flaps cover your zippers, keeping your gear dry. The admin pocket has a wide variety of organizational options. A loose-fitting open sleeve pocket, 
as well as two secure lower pockets with retention straps give you plenty of options for storage. We've also added two key fobs. The open flap is also equipped with two large shove-it pockets that extend to the bottom of the pack and have retention straps at the top. The mesh pocket at the top is great for storage that you want visible. The mesh pocket at the top was designed with two zippered entry points for easy access from either side. The center mesh pocket as well as the lower pocket also have zippered entries to keep your gear separate. We've added additional web platforms throughout the pack. This is the 511 Rush 72 Backpack. The Lighthawk XD Tactical Vest, starting from the top down. It has a fully adjustable and removable throat protector. A set of fully adjustable and removable structured deltoid protectors. A set of fully adjustable and removable shoulder flanks on each side. And in the back is a fully adjustable and removable nape protector. The Lighthawk Cummerbund system is classified as dynamic because its unique design allows for both the expansion and contraction of the chest cavity, ensuring perfect fit without restricting movement. The system is ideal for breathing, bending, and general maneuverability. On the Lighthawk XT, both the front of the vest and the back of the vest have top loading plate pockets. The plate enters here from the top. You can adjust the height of the plate with the vertical strap found inside. Another pocket, located inside the back plate pocket of the vest, will accommodate a hydration bladder with a port here to run the hose through. The front pocket opens here, again with a vertical adjustment tab to adjust the position of the plate. Also located on the front are wire restraints on each side. Simply pull them apart, run your wires along the inside, and close the restraint around the wire. These wire restraints are found all the way through the shoulder system. In the front of the vest, there's a drop pouch. It seals using hook and loop, as well as two snaps on either side. The cummerbunds themselves open up in the traditional style and support soft armor inserts, which are placed in the side, here. The shoulder straps are fully adjustable. To tighten the shoulder strap, simply release it, pull, and reattach to tighten. These two metal clips here are called sling catches, and restrict rifle slings. They are also fully adjustable and removable. Behind the neck, the carry handle has a removable name tag. In the front, when the groin panel is attached, slide it down for coverage and slide it back up to conceal it. On the inside of the vest, there's 3D spacer mesh lining it to help mediate the heat and moisture by creating airflow channels between the vest and the operator. In the front, there are non-skid surfaces to prevent the rifle butt from slipping. Surfaces are MOLLE compatible on the front, on the sides, and on the back. Notice that the ID attachment points are also MOLLE compatible. The shoulder flanks have an elastic feature for the purpose of holding pens or markers, and are angled in such a way that removing a pen doesn't pull it towards your neck. Those are the features of the Lighthawk XT Tactical Vest. This is the MP1 MRO. It's built for maintenance, repairs, and operations. The heavy-duty, spring-loaded, forged jaws can withstand rigorous torque and compression. It contains full-size serrated and fine-edged blades for tough cutting and slicing duty. The cotter pin hook allows users to pull cotter pins from vehicles without having to use their pliers. The magnetic bit driver accepts standard-sized bits and is accompanied by a 12-piece bit set. It also includes a file, a pry bar, a tire depth gauge, bottle opener, and utility scraper. A Coyote Brown, Molly compatible sheath is included. Proudly built in Portland, Oregon, this is the MP1 MRO. Powerful, visible, and incredibly accurate, 
The Steiner M830R laser range finding binocular delivers targeting data so precise, even small and partially obscured objects can't hide. The 1535 nanometer laser is undetectable by conventional night vision. Your opponent won't know they're being targeted and your position remains hidden. Deadly accurate from 25 to over 6,000 meters, this 8x30 Class 1 iSafe laser binocular includes Bluetooth capability, allowing you to use a Kestrel wind and weather meter for additional targeting data. Small, light, optically brilliant, bedrock tough, and incredibly accurate, the Steiner M830R laser range finding binocular keeps you invisible, accurate, and master of the battlefield. Total confidence is having the mindset that you will absolutely dominate any situation. With Leupold Rifle Scopes, you can trust your shot to be deadly accurate, no matter the conditions. The Leupold VX6. This is the rifle scope at the absolute top of its game in precision and performance. The extended twilight lens system maximizes light transmission and lets you hunt from dawn till dusk. Leupold's optical engineering team created a powerful 6 to 1 zoom ratio system with a bright, high contrast image from edge to edge. The VX6 also features a generous eye box for fast and comfortable target acquisition, even in the most challenging of shooting positions. Designed, machined, and assembled in the United States by our 650 American craftsmen who accept nothing less than perfection backed by the Leupold Gold Ring Full Lifetime Guarantee. If your scope doesn't perform as promised, we'll replace it or repair it for free, whether you are the original owner or not, forever. It's here. The first tactical light in red laser that fits. The Streamlight TLR6 fits subcompacts, 1911s, and is even available with a low-profile rail grabber. It fits your need to see clearly and be certain. The Streamlight TLR6 Tactical Light and Laser fits all your needs. Only from Streamlight. I designed the Sangrador for CRKT in the Forge Bow War series. Sangrador is a dagger. I chose to design a dagger from its past history. These knives are just tested to try to intrude. You can go back as far as 12,000 BC. They found artifacts in a dagger shape. That's how long this design has been around. I designed the Sangrador with a uh, five and a half inch blade. It's a full tang blade with uh, VEF serrations in case you needed to cut cord or nylon rope or something. The sheet that was designed can be worn on the belt. The button strap keeps everything nice and sturdy. It's also got molly attachments all the way down, and this can also be worn on the leg for jumps. So it's an absolute multi-purpose tool, aside from the fact that it is an absolutely devastating dagger that could do some damage. When conditions are hazardous, firefighters trust the survivor from Streamlight. And now they have even more reasons to trust the survivor to light their ways. At Streamlight, we take great pride in understanding how our lights are used and listening to the feedback of those who use them. Their experiences have inspired us to find innovative ways to make the most popular right angle flashlight even better. We started by redesigning the light from the inside out. We've re-engineered the Survivor with a new optic design that has enabled us to make the lens cap 50% shorter. But a smaller profile is meaningless if it sacrifices performance. We didn't. In fact, the new Survivor still boasts the piercingly bright beam that has made this light invaluable. It features 175 lumens and 41,000 candela for a beam that cuts through the smoke and travels nearly 450 yards on high with a runtime of three and a half hours. Set it to low and get an impressive 13 hours of runtime at 60 lumens with 14,000 candela that sends the beam over 260 yards down range. Or select moonlight mode for low level lighting that runs for 20 continuous days. It even offers a flash mode that can signal for up to eight hours. The innovative optic design has also allowed us to introduce our new smoke cutter system for greater user customization of the beam pattern. 
Both our black and amber smoke cutter plugs focus the beam for an even tighter, sharper pattern, while the amber plug also reduces eye fatigue caused by glare. To help keep the light pointed where you need it, we've improved our clip system, creating a stronger spring-loaded clip with built-in D-ring that easily attaches to belts and harnesses while reducing unwanted movement. But with all the changes, some important features have stayed the same. The new rechargeable Survivor fits all existing Survivor chargers. It's also available with an optional alkaline battery pack, so you're never caught without backup power when you need it most. The next generation Survivor from Streamlight. Smaller lens, stronger clip, greater customization options. Always there through the